Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to the Bargain District with me, Monique, today. And I have another crazy Balenciaga haul. I went to another sample sale for Balenciaga on Friday, and it happened to be, uh, again, the very last day of the sample sale. I seem to just know about it, like, the day before, so I always go on the last, last day. Um, so, yeah, this time, uh, it was, again, on Friday, but unlike last time, sample sale on Friday lasted till 3, but this time they were literally closing down at 1 p.m. I got there around 11 because I thought, you know, it will start at 10 or 11, and I didn't really want to wait. I didn't really want to wait for a long time, and I had things to do in the morning instead. But apparently they started at 9 a.m. If I had known that, then I would go earlier, and maybe I would get get like better selection of bags so this time there is no city bag at all left um, um, so the um, people there saying that you know it's gone already but I feel like last time I also came on the very last day and there's still a table full of city bags left so I don't know maybe they didn't have that many selections this time because I saw so many other bags so it's impossible for them to have the same amount of city bags this time or maybe they did you know I just didn't see any uh, but I did still snagged five bags um, a little bit excessive but it's a little bit di it's so difficult to skip on a bag when you know the price is just so good so basically it's a private sale only for employees and friends that's why um, it's hard to find any info about it because it's not announced in your normal sample sale websites and all that so not a lot of people actually go other than the employees or people affiliated with it so I'm lucky enough to know about it the day before I guess it's still considered lucky because then you get to get snag a lot of Balenciaga bags for a fraction of the price I didn't even bother with the clothing just because I don't really want to spend um, the money, even though it's a good deal for the clothing, but for the same amount of money I can get bags. So I decided to just go with bags again. And yeah, I had two huge bags um, full of goodies um, because this time I they actually had a bunch of... Um, backpacks left and my husband and I we both are in the lookout for backpacks so I do have like a um, vintage Louis Vuitton goblin backpack which is not very big at all it's more like a it's like a cutesy backpack it's not really for travel so I really want something that I could use for gym and 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 dance classes because I do go um, to a lot of dance classes which means I have to carry so many things so a bigger backpack would definitely work. I tried with a duffel bag and it's just too heavy to be carrying around a duffel bag, you know, a leather duffel bag. But anyway, so this is the first backpack. Um, I don't know the name of it. Maybe I'll try to link it down below if I, if, if, if I um, find out about the name of the style of this thing. But I think this is the, this is definitely men's and I think this is like one of the that kind of style like the city it's always the same style but just do they do it in different uh, material and different colors every year so I snagged the blue one there are only a few left that has the extension on the bottom which makes it like a bigger bag and I think this would be great for my husband even though I wish I get like the black on black just because this blue is a little bit out there for traveling sometimes because he sometimes travel to places that you know you don't want to be attracting any attention at all to you but it's i love the fact that it doesn't say anything you don't really know it's balenciaga unless you know balenciaga and this extra um pocket down here really helps if you have i guess you know shoes or food or things like that it has this pouch over here and it's just this the closure I don't know the name of this but yeah it just closes up like that it has two and it's a drawstring a pretty spacious inside it's actually leather um, trim 
but it's like a matte leather so it feels kind of like neoprene but it's actually leather so you go inside it's just one giant hole with a zipper um, pocket over there and there's actually two more pockets on the other side which no one ever uses for anything um, yeah so that is for the husband and he's pretty happy about it and I also got myself a backpack sorry for the noise guys and this is I think another men's backpack it's the same style but it's just smaller because there's no bottom part so the bottom is it's just a, like a regular one I think this is the perfect size for me to uh, go travel also like for um going to dance classes and or going to the gym or going for an overnight trip um it's black and black and this i think is, this is nylon with leather trim i wish it's all leather but they didn't have anything like that um yeah i like the also the hardware on this is not silver it's just black matte so that's even better um i like the way that it's so incognito because I used to have the Louis Vuitton Mercury uh, backpack and again, I don't think that's such a good idea traveling to places that you don't want to attract attention to you. So it's the same closure but it's only one instead of two, opens up like that. So it's the same on the inside, a zipper pocket and two po other pockets. So it's pretty big and it's kind of like padded. So. This might not, not be rainproof, I don't think. I'm not sure. It might be, but if it's like really heavy rain, then it might not be. But I'm pretty happy about it. It fits great and it feels great also. And it's pretty light because it's nylon and leather. All right. And then next one is this bag. <laughs> I've been looking at this bag on Fashion File and other places. Um, I think this is the um, Ladi. Uh, I think this is the Ladi uh, bag. I don't know, um, but it's one of their classic lines. I've seen this every uh, kind of like in many different places. It's so uh, a mix of silver and gold hardware. It just says Balenciaga over there, and it opens up like that and the inside is really really beautiful and nice it has like a zipper pocket and two two uh, pockets it's like pretty same like the other ones um but i like how classic this thing is i mean look at this it reminds me of the kelly bag don't you think because it has the strap also and just the style is so so classic i wish that they still have the black one and the smaller ones they have they have others uh this exactly this in smaller size but it's like in pink and yellow light pink um they probably ran out of like the black already but pretty happy about this um it's just a nice it's very officey in a way but also maybe you can make it um a little bit casual depending on what you're wearing but definitely this is more like an office kind of kind of bag and it comes with this I don't know what this is oh I think this is this might be the mirror because Balenciaga bags always comes with mirror yeah it is the mirror but not like the conventional mirror it's more like a metal thing so I guess until I can finally have my Kelly in the future I just have to be happy with this guy um this size comes in also the color gold like the Hermes gold so I was really really um, thinking about getting that one as well but I skipped on it because I've gotten a few bags on my hands and you know you just have to put a stop and there's beautiful blush pink which I almost got out as well but I have to stop myself just because it's such a, a big size if it's like the smaller size then I could probably get the other ones Another one is this, uh, I think this is called the padlock. I don't know, it doesn't say. I think it's called the padlock or something. 
because it has this guy over here and it's pretty popular I've seen it all the time in Barney's and yeah so it has just this um, pouch on the front with the mirror the actual mirror opens up like that and it's just like this is like a mini version so it opens up like that it's just like a huge hole again with a zipper compartment and then the two other compartment it comes with the strap so it's pretty cute um, and the color is more like kind of like a gray it's gray with a little bit like a green tint pattern with black on the so it's black leather on the side and it's like pattern on the front and then the back so I think this is really cute and to find it in such a neutral color actually I went in there and I kind of want like fun colors you know I really really want a red bag but I couldn't find anything in red and the, all the other colors are really light like really light yellow like a banana yellow and really light pink and I feel like I'm just gonna ruin it you know if I if I get something like that and I always get color transfer so it's, it's never a good idea I think it's good to have like one or two lighter color bags and not keep buying like bags that are in lighter color I really really want uh, a red one okay so the last bag is this one which is this is the runaway bag from 2015 fall it's a two-way it kind of reminds me of the boy bag just because of the metal chain and it goes two ways you can go straight like you can go crossbody or you can just carry it like this and it's a nice structured bag this is the last um, black one that they had. They had so many left of the combo colors. So they have like the white with the black and they have the beige with the red and they have the, um, I think gray with the blue, which I wasn't really into just because I feel like the ombre color is just not really flattering. Um, so it has a few scratches because this is the last one, obviously nobody else wanted this. But I had to take it home just because um, it's very practical. It is quite heavy because it's such a structured bag. And it's like this really smooth leather that is pretty boxy and heavy. Um, also, the hardware makes it really heavy. As you can see, it's like really nice hardware on the front. But, I mean, I wouldn't want to be using this front size. <laughs> just because like it's such a hassle to, you know close it and open uh, but the bag itself just opens like this with a magnetic closure so and you go inside it's a pretty uh, spacious roomy size um, yeah pretty pretty nice and you know the minute they say I mean I always try to ask a sales associate and sometimes they're really helpful and sometimes they're just such enablers so I was like after the four, I was like debating whether I should get this or not. As you can see, everything is all black except for the blue one, kind of. It's all dark color, so I'm like, oh, you know, it's another black one. I have so many black. And of course, they're like, oh, but it's from the runway. It doesn't, f you know, it's from the runway show. And I'm like, oh, God, you said runway. So I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to get it. So I got this one. And yeah, I mean, I'm still thinking about it but I just couldn't pass up uh, because it was a good deal so out of the five bags I think I'm gonna try to like maybe sell one or two because I don't think I can justify keeping all five of them even though yes one is for my husband but still you know I don't think I think it's a bit excessive because I already um, bought a few bags from them uh, during the last sample sale and hopefully I would be able to go again in I don't know maybe October that's when they're having it uh, hopefully I'll be able to go again in October and maybe like at an earlier time so I get to uh, get like more classic bags like that they have in, and more fun colors so yeah guys thank you so much for listening to me rambling about the sample sale and about my haul um, I hope you enjoy this haul and thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video. I really appreciate it. 
if you would like to click subscribe um that would be really really uh, appreciate it and yeah let me know if you're interested in one of the bags I'm, I'm thinking this one I might not even keep um, this one retails for like around two thousand dollars but yeah definitely you're gonna get such a good deal and yeah so thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you on my next one bye